So I've been using Linux for a little over a year and I just like to share five apps that I think are pretty incredible. So let's get into it. Number one's not too fancy, but it's just this office program, just a program to write. I guess you have to, if you have Windows, which I haven't used it for a long time, you have to pay for it or it's a subscription. I think it's like fully a subscription service, but there, I noticed there was a free version. I just had looked it up, but I actually have to use it like at my work and it's really annoying. Um, there's all this suggestive stuff. I'm sure there's a way you can turn it off. Um, it seems to be like mostly like online geared. And um, at one time was asking me for my phone number, which I thought was absolutely weird. This isn't like a great, like huge, like like the new discovery. Generally speaking, every Linux that I've used usually gets this. Um, I have another computer you can see that one right down there that guy's running linux Lite, and i checked this computer and it's on there too so generally speaking pretty sure it comes with it i don't do a lot of writing but i like to make lists sometimes as you can see i need to buy more dvds all right this is my second app uh this is um rhythm box and i'm sure there there could be a lot of better music programs but i find this one really good and really simple apparently it's supposed to mimic itunes i was never really an apple guy but i just need my music programs to play flax and mp3s and this does that so to me this is perfect i literally just like right click like this is the whole album and i just right click it put it in here and it works and i can play it in order i can switch it around or whatever and just generally from what I've seen with Linux, like with the new installations <clears throat> that I've tried, there's just these weird programs where you click it and it wasn't playing like the MP3 in the same program. It was playing the FLAC or I couldn't even play the FLAC, I think, in a couple cases. But yeah, once I install this, good to go. And I love my music and I run my music to my, you can see all my CDs there, run my, I run a wire from my computer to there and I love to have my FLAC files on here so I can play them. Okay, this next one is super cool. It's called Flame Shot. So say if I want to take a screenshot of Gabby Cat right there. Just go like this. Go like that and click it. Oh, it didn't work. Let's go like this. Pictures. There it is. There's Gabby Cat, and then you can just send that picture around. I love this program. I use this all the time. Super good program. All right, this next one, it's on like Android, probably on iTunes and on Windows and stuff. <clears throat> it's just great to see it on here. And this to me is great because I don't like to use my cell phone. So I will just leave my signal open. And if you're on your cell phone and you know me, because most people who do know me know that I do not use my cell phone or I'm very hard to reach. I can usually be reached here, especially if I'm at home and I'll just leave that open. And I just think it's super cool. Now, I actually think that there might be a program that's better than this. Uh, let's just get it open here. Um, is it here? Um, it's called Briar and I had tried this with one other person at the time when I had gotten into it though it seemed a little like it's I think it's still saying that it's beta I don't know where it says that I thought I had read that yeah um so it just seemed a little more buggy but it's got some cool features like you can transfer um messages with people just over bluetooth not even connecting to wi-fi and I I, I found that really cool but um, Signal just works good for me because I got a lot of people like switched over to it and they're using Signal with me. So if I wanted to use something else, it'd be a pain in the butt because a lot of people would be annoyed because they wouldn't be able to reach me easily. All right, this last one's really cool. I showed this one in another video. It's called Free Audio Converter. So I got these Tom Petty CDs recently. So I haven't ripped them yet. So just take it. So the reason it's on this computer is because this is the only one that I have. Sorry, this guy has a, sorry, it's hard to see with the light. This one has a CD player, but it's not good. And my, this is my gaming PC. So there's no CD in there. And then the other computer over there is a pretty good computer, but it has no CD in it. So yeah, if I just go like this and click encode, start encoding, and it's set to go to uh, FLAC just like that. Yeah, that probably only took like 
like two or three minutes uh, shout out to VLC but uh, yeah so it copies all your files and I, I like flat because it's higher quality but it does take up a lot more space and then yeah it even gets you like the uh, covers and stuff like that it's a super cool program anyways though that's five programs that I think are incredible if you know any incredible Linux programs please leave some down in the bottom I got some incredible tips on the last video I made I wanted to show you one last thing too the cool thing this is pop os on this computer that other one you saw me ripping the audio cd was um uh, linux uh, linux Lite, i believe it's called but you can just type in things like every single app that i was looking for is here like in the store so there's no terminal so it's pretty easy click it and then just click like this and install and that's it super cool linux is pretty awesome have a good day